Building mobile apps is all fun and games until you run into one of these issues or all of them all at once. The first one is people don't take you seriously or at least that is the case whenever I tell someone that I build mobile apps for a living. They think that is not a serious job or maybe not a job that we can actually live off. And the next logical question is how much do you make? And whenever I say six figures, they usually are surprised. It is like they believe that there is no way you can make, you know, there is no way you can earn six figure salary from just building apps. I think a lot of people are still stuck in the old mentality when mobile apps were nine, what is it called? Uh, 99 cents on the, on the app store. It is really difficult for them to understand that building mobile apps for a living is actually a valid career. And that takes me to the second downside of being a mobile app developer, which is people think you can build. Okay. Let me, I'll take that back. People think you can clone Facebook for hundred dollars, two hundred dollars in total. And I can't tell you how many times people reach out to me on TikTok and Instagram. And I know those are not the best platforms to get clients from, but let's, let's let, go with me on this one. I have so many DMs of people asking me to not build clone, clone Upwork, Upwork.com, the whole website. I mean the app, the mobile version the whole mobile app for $50. And that is the problem with dealing with your average Joe who doesn't know anything about mobile apps except that his idea is actually worth a billion dollars. <laughs> and the funny thing about app ideas is everyone has one and they're all the same. Everyone wants to build a social media platform to compete with Facebook <laughs> or build a marketplace to also compete with Facebook marketplace or something like Upwork or Fiverr. And finally, dating apps. Everyone wants to build a dating app for whatever niche, small community that they are from or that they are familiar with. And I'm not saying that is a bad idea. It actually is, but... <laughs> All right, the idea itself is bad, but the thought of, of the community is not. I actually thought this was going to be a serious video, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just having too much fun here. I'm going to put some of those crazy screenshots on the screen and I'll let you be the judge. And the final downside of being a mobile app developer is not dealing with the public. It is actually dealing with Google and Apple App Store policies and guidelines. I am not going to go into details on this one because it is going to get depressing real fast. And just so you know, Google removed my apps and my developer profile from the Play Store for not verifying. I am not going to complain about this one because it is somewhat my fault for not verifying early. I decided to create an LLC and verify with Google as an organization or as a business because if I try to do it as an individual, they actually want my full name, my full address publicly listed on the App Store. I have no idea who came up with this stupid rule, but uh, all I'm going to say is Google is actually losing it. Uh, recently, Mr. Who's the Boss made, an, made a 20 minute video detailing the downfall of Google search. It is trash. It is absolutely unusable. I'll link his video down below. You can go give it a shot. I'm not going to end this video on a down note. So I'm just going to counter everything I just said with, I do actually really love and enjoy building mobile apps. It is, it is fun. That is, that is why I'm actually putting up with all of this madness. I can actually sit here and build mobile apps day in, day out for as long as I want to. And that is what I'm doing right now. And it is amazing. Anyway, that is all for today. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.